Hello there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Creative. In this particular episode we're going to be taking a look at what's considered to be a lossless airlock and I'm going to go into more depth about the oxygen and atmosphere system because I know a lot of people had questions about it, uh, how it interacts with certain blocks and just very finicky questions about how the atmosphere actually works in the game. So we're going to go take a look at all of this stuff right now. We're actually in, I suppose we're actually in survival mode. We're not in creative mode anymore, but I did make this in creative mode just to show you uh, a whole bunch of different aspects about the new oxygen system. So, as I explained in the survival mode, there are three different parts that have been added into the, into the game. The air vent, the oxygen generator, and the oxygen tank. The oxygen tank acts as a battery for any oxygen that gets created in your oxy oxygen generator. It will be stored in your oxygen tanks if you do not use it in your oxygen vents. And as you see, the lights right now are red. That's because I have them turned off. The lights mean different things. They can change colors, they can have different amount of lights, and they all mean different things. When there is a red bar across the top, that means that they are not in operation. If we would uh, turn this block on, it would turn yellow. And the reason it is yellow right now is because, number one, it even if it wanted to vent atmosphere in here, it would never be able to fill up the vastness of space. So the bars on here, if it starts filling up, that means that the atmosphere in the room is getting more and more and more full until it is completely full. However, the oxygen vents will not actually vent atmosphere into a room unless it is completely sealed. So right now it's indicating to us that the room, <laughs> room, the vastness of space is open, so it will not be venting any atmosphere into here. However, if we would go into the airlock here, and we would open this up, toggle the block on, it would turn green, and then, because it's a very, very small room, you saw that it filled it up very, very quickly. So the yellow indicates that the room has a hole in it somewhere and it will not vent atmosphere into the room. The green means that there's, uh, it's going to start filling the room and it is filling the room. And when, like I said before, if there's just one green bar, it means it's filling it, but there's not much oxygen. Then there, there means there's a medium oxygen level, a medium high oxygen level, and then finally a high oxygen level. And because we are in said airlock, it's very small, it, able, it was able to fill up very, very quickly with oxygen. So that's all well and good. However, this one right here, actually, oh yeah, that's right, there is oxygen in this room, I completely forgot about that. So there is oxygen in this room, however, if we wanted to, we could I'm not mistaken, th this, there's a very small room right over here that is in a vacuum. So if we would open this door, the atmosphere from this room would rush into this room and try to create an equilibrium. And because there is uh, no air vent in here that is turned on, this air vent's turned off uh, by the red lights you can see. It will try to create an equilibrium, and because it's a small room, it should actually fill up with oxygen. And I have an air vent in there so we can determine the oxygen level. So let's watch this. There should be a little rush of air, and yep, as you see, it filled up. And we're going to just toggle this block off because there's really no <laughs> point to having it on. The only reason I put this air vent in the room was so that we could determine how much oxygen was in here. Also, whoop, not what I wanted to do. If we close this, I'm going to actually turn the air vent back on so we can show you how much oxygen is in here. So we're going to get our character tools. We're going to take our grinder. And if you create a hole in the room, obviously, 
there we go. All the oxygen got sucked out and the air vent turned to yellow because of uh, the air vent saying, hey, there's a hole in the room. I can't fill it even if I wanted to. All right. Now I suppose I should get my welder back out. And as you see, there is no oxygen in this room anymore. However, when I open this, there's going to be a little rush of air and we're back to high oxygen levels in this room. So the oxygen levels do create an equilibrium from room to room when you open the doors. And one thing to take note of is one might think that using like a refinery or a arc welder or some or an arc furnace as a wall might work to create a complete locked off room from the rigors of space however that is not the case so if I take or get rid of this armor block all of the air from this room rushed out because the oxygen generator as well as the other machinery tools do not act as walls so you will have to actually completely wall off your room with either light armor blocks heavy armor blocks or your interior wall plate things. And I was talking about the lossless airlock before. So how on earth is this a lossless airlock? Well, if I would open this door to space, all the air would rush out, that would be bad. I suppose I could just turn off the air vent, but even so, we'll lose whatever oxygen is in this room which is kind of crappy. So, what do we do to solve that? Obviously because there's an air vent in here, that's the only thing you really need to do to create a lossless airlock is you need to have an air vent hooked up to an air tank. The air tank has to have room to suck the oxygen in, but if it does have room, you can just depressurize the room and as you see, it's sucking up all the air. There's no oxygen in this room. We saved all of our atmosphere, so we can open the door again, and we lost absolutely no oxygen. So that is pretty cool. Also, as you see, these green bars, or green lights, indicate how much oxygen are in each tank. There's a lot of oxygen. This oxygen tank is full, and these two are half full. And just like anything else in the game, you can... Uh, flow oxygen through conveyor tubes and through conveyors. And that's the next thing I am going to show you. Ow. <laughs> I forgot that I'm in creative or in survival right now. So if I wanted to, I could take some of this ice. I could put it inside of the large cargo container. The large cargo container, just like anything else in the game, will shuffle it off. It should shuffle it off to the Oh, that's right. I have the um, oxygen generator turned off right now. So if we turn the oxygen generator on, it will suck the ice from the large cargo container to the oxygen generator. It will start creating oxygen, and it will automatically start stockpiling them in the oxygen tanks. However, if you want to manually tell them to stockpile the oxygen in the oxygen tanks, there is an option for that, so we can just tell it to stockpile, and it will prioritize those oxygen tanks to start stockpiling. As you see, they turned blue, and that means when we want to pump oxygen into this room, or say the big room in here, it will actually start taking the oxygen from the oxygen tank that has the green lights on it, not the oxygen tanks that have the blue lights on it. All right, I think that's mostly about it. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up. I suppose I should uh, take off my helmet because uh, <laughs> mine as well. Okay, as you see, turn blue from yellow to blue. That means that the there is a closed system in here. We can now repressurize this room. We have high oxygen in here. There's still high oxygen in here. Let us open this up. We'll keep this vent open. Toggle the block on. There we go. There's high oxygen in this room. So, let me just heal myself after taking fall damage. And 
like before, if we wanted to take our helmet off, you just press T when you're at the medical facility, and you can change your <coughs> person to the player model with the no helmet. There actually is a difference. If you were to go into the rigors of space, you would take damage. So you don't want to really do that. Your suit energy still does get depleted from running around. I'm guessing that eventually in the game that your suit energy will not get depleted when you are in an oxygen environment. Well, you'll probably get uh, depleted suit energy when you're using your welder and grinder and stuff, but... Hmm. As you can see, it's still pumping oxygen into this room. That's odd, because it should be full. However, when it does get completely full, it will stop. I don't think there's any holes in this room, but anyhow. And one thing to note, pure oxygen is not a very good uh, atmosphere to be breathing in. Also, if you were to, you know, say, light up your welder in a pure oxygen environment, that would be bad. You would explode, yeah. So, well, that's just about it for the little tutorial I had planned for the oxygen and atmosphere systems. We'll be talking more about it in the survival world. And when they start adding more stuff to the atmosphere systems, which I'm sure they will do, we'll talk about that as well. So thank you folks for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.